Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to an all-new episode of Happy Hour Podcast. I'm Mike. I'm Tabby. Tonight, we are joined by not one, but two pods. Or three. No, I'm kidding. Three special guests. <laughs> two podcasts, no, three two special guests. Bleach Bros, uh -huh. Jake and B-Word, uh -huh. and Ryan Leskis of Pain Production. Woo! Boys, how are we? I'm I not everybody said, all at once. Yeah, I would have said I was, gentlemen. I that, yeah, I was doing that that delayed thing. Like I didn't want to jump in on everybody, but I, I'm great. So. Okay, I'm Caleb. doing superb. I finished Cobra Kai today, so we're good. We're good. Yeah, what you think? Impressive. Impressive. Uh, they didn't I, need to I, go to Mexico. I cashed out, man. I I wanted to finish, but I, I fell asleep like a chump last night around like two. Yeah. I just split it up in between two days. I, I couldn't just sit there and binge it, but no. it was decent. I liked it. I started it while I was in the uh, pickup line yesterday when I went to go pick him up from school. I got to, I got there like an hour and a half early. So I just, which you I, always do. Yeah. Which I usually do. I, uh, I just turned it on Netflix on my phone on and laid the seat back and enjoyed the show. So you you get there. That's like a normal thing for you, Mike. You get there like an hour and a half early. You just kind of chill out, lay the seat back. Yeah. Well, when I get off has any, work, has anybody caught you doing dirty things on the school property yet? Or <laughs> no, not yet. <laughs> I work too much to send him any nudes. <laughs> I get it though, man. man. Like in in my pickup line, there's so many other folks out there that I can't get shit for a signal. Do you bring like? pocket wi-fi or how the hell are you streaming anything from your shit dude what <laughs> sorry <laughs> i was she was talking to me at the same time i just said lucy stinks oh. lucy came in here and she smells like shit i'm pretty sure she rolled around outside in shit all right well she always does that dogs what are you gonna do not it <laughs> It wasn't exciting anyway. Let's move forward. <laughs> I got no, I got no signal. I got no goddamn like, signal, no signal for pickup. this either. I'm on pocket Wi-Fi now. I'm gonna fucking like right. I got no signal, and you're fucking just chilling out high high speed in in a fucking <laughs> pickup line, dude. I I can't, I, I, I I bring a book. God well, I, use, it's I, I got like ninety seven thousand fucking parents. Well, it, my car soaking has, up all the signal. My car has Wi-Fi, so and five G. Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. I have. Oh, I drive a, a 2020 Equinox. Okay. Well, shit. that's like the most like my soccer president. Mom. My president. <laughs> She's the one that told me I should get it. I did not. You said I'm getting this car, and no. I said okay. Well, in my in in your defense, I, I drive a Dodge Stratus. <laughs> God damn it! No, I I I wanted a minivan. He really wanted uh, a minivan. I do. I have a 2022 Odyssey, my friend. Dude, that's that's Hell fucking. Yeah. That's beautiful. I love it. That's a well, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Thank you, B word. Thank you. <laughs> yeah, thank you, B word. I well, love no, mini bands. Mini and so I'm over hard. here going. I love it so hard. I'm over here going. Give me a a Mustang or something. I'll strap the kid to the car. It's okay. Just go. You literally said we should oh, get an SUV because of the dogs. Well, yeah, the SUV because of the dogs. Yeah. But you're the one oh. that. <laughs> there were crickets chirping. I thought you said STD because I couldn't hear yeah. over the fucking yeah. bug noise. So I was like, wow, that is intense with a Mustang. <laughs> well, you know, Ford drivers. Yeah. I get this. I get this. I'm going to bed. Good night, guys. You do this on your own. <laughs> All right. <laughs> All right. Well, and we do we're off. A, yeah. Well, we do have a pretty exciting episode tonight. Uh, we are doing a Justice League fan cast. And Ryan Leskis is going to be the moderator for this. It is uh, pod versus pod, happy hour versus bleach. And it should be exciting. It's it's only fair because they had us on their show to recast the X-Men. And I had a fucking good time. With it was it a really good time. Had a great it was a really good time, guys. Turned out yeah, to be a great episode. Thank you guys for coming on. Yeah, and thank you for having us. Uh, moderating. And, you know, I'm a fan of Ryan, so I know he'll do a good job. I'm, well, I have no bias. I have no bias, man. He's well, I was going to say, do you, do you do you even have Wi-Fi tonight? I was worried that your speed wasn't going to no. keep up with our picks. So <laughs> I am not in. I'm not in the minivan right now in the uh, <laughs> in the school parking lot, so I should be all right. All right cool. He's literally going to say sorry after every time he says, True. "Okay, this is who I'm going to choose," and I'm yeah. sorry, but uh, I think the last time I when I edited our episode 
uh, you had 17. Probably. I think yeah. 17 Midwestern. was the final count. Yeah. Midwestern, yeah. you know. I got you. I know. We're decisive, I'm... but, you know, we don't like hurt feelings. Ope. <laughs> <laughs> Ope. Excuse me. Ope. There's no excuse me. It's Ope. I'm just going to slap my hands on my knees and say, Ope, it's about time I get going now. So uh, <laughs> the winner will be. Ope. We'll I'm sorry. Bleach Bros. <laughs> the Bleach Bros. <laughs> okay. Sure. Sure. What the fuck? You just threw a cherry at sorry. me. I mean, that's technically, that's how you found him. That's fair. Valid. No. <laughs> ah. No. <laughs> Cherry bomb. I see what you did there. I see what you did there. Well played, sir. Well played. <laughs> no, sorry, I'm making my drink. Uh all right. So again, uh, this is a fan cast pod versus pod uh Justice League. Uh, hopefully it'll, it'll I'm so sorry this, I had no time on this however one. the casting of this justice league turns out it will be better than the uh actual one it just to yeah. clarify you guys have a collaborative one nominee between right. podcasts right you're now yeah. doing four. Do. okay cool we do cool 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 cool, cool, cool. and one that wild card right that was yeah sidekick. uh the sidekick of your choosing so what we'll do <laughs> is we'll do the sidekick first okay and then we'll just the uh i sent uh all of you the the list of the heroes that we're doing and what we'll do mm -hmm. is we'll start at the top and just work our way down to the bottom but we'll we'll kick it off with the sidekick and we're ready when you guys are so you can go first yes if you want our first so i know for a sidekick we originally did the debate of do we pick a robin like everybody probably would right because there's so many out there and everybody's fan cast that forever so we actually went with arsenal who is uh, the Green Arrow's uh, sidekick? So and did, we. So did we. Okay, good. See, that's a great character. I love. I love his color scheme. I like. I think he's underutilized. The nice thing is, since he is underutilized, you could pick somebody who doesn't have to say a lot of lines, or vice versa. You could really try to put this character forward. But we went with um, Draco Montgomery. Decray Montgomery. Decray, whatever. I can't da fucking it's, pronounce it's shit. It's Dacra Montgomery. It's actually. Dacra, Dacra Montgomery. Dacra. But whatever. That's but I'll that's. That's a good pick. I I'll agree. That's a good pick. <coughs> we went. But you guys, so you guys had the same same wild card as us. We did. Yeah, we but, did. Uh, well, Roy Harper's my favorite. Uh, he's my favorite sidekick. Uh, and we chose. Uh, how do you say his name? We chose. You mean Taren you chose? Edgerton. Oh, Taryn. Oh, Edgerton. Taryn Edgerton. Yeah, Taryn Edgerton. Mm. Okay. Yes. Taryn really deserves a lead role, though. Like, I'm not trying. I'm not trying to influence your decision here, Ryan. But, but Taryn really, Taryn really needs to be a superstar. He doesn't need to be a sidekick. That's why we no, picked a guy I, where you can. You don't even care what his name is. We can call him Draco or Decree, whatever, or Decree, right. whatever. Decree, <laughs> Decree. Billy, I'm the moderator. You guys can battle and support your cases however you see possible. Decker. You're not influencing me one way or another. So please, sell sell your Edgerton. Well, I, I will say I will say this before they they finish selling what they're gonna sell is we actually agreed on our our pick and and B word B word came up with a good one. This was where we went back and forth and I said I think this is a character that we should choose and he came right out the gate with this guy and B word. Why did you pick Decray? Well, um, so to kind of reveal um, without revealing our pick, we picked kind of an older um, Green Arrow, and okay. so uh, mm. with Dacker Montgomery, uh, he would feel that like a sidekick like a younger um person who's following the footsteps of but he's also a good actor i mean we we know him as billy from stranger things we know him as tommy from the red ranger um he's been in a few different things and i think that he has the acting chops to do it but i mean he also has the build to be able to pull it off and i think that uh for the dc universe assuming that they hire us to cast i think he'd be a good role for arsenal that is a good pick uh, but I do have to correct you, B-Word. Jason was the Red Ranger. Tommy was the Green Ranger. Yeah, you're right. You're right. <laughs> so, <laughs> uh, the reason that we... Uh, that We? That I... Sorry, yes. Well, you were you were recording uh, Unfortunate Horrors when I was doing I was, selection. yes. Uh, but I, I kind of picked him uh, mainly on look. I thought he really looked the part of Roy Harper as far as comic accuracy goes and uh his build 
All right. I've heard the cases. And I'm sorry, I'm going to have to give this one to Bleach Brothers because, uh, yeah, as far as sidekicks go, I think uh, the casting mm-hmm. is perfect there. Um, yeah, that's basically it. I think Taron Edgerton, after seeing him in Rocket Man, the guy is a, is a superstar. And I really think that I, you know, I didn't have any preconceived notions in the rest of these characters, but I kind of felt him as an upward character rather than the sidekick and i think billy kind of has that edge that that would not not that edgerton doesn't have an edge and he any but he kind of has more of a polished edge i don't know how else mm-hmm. to describe it but yeah i'm gonna go he's a pretty boy i think if you saw him in uh, the man, apple yes. plus series blackbird yeah great book he series, by the way. he i mean yeah. his acting is superb oh so, i'm a huge fan yeah. i'm a huge fan don't get me wrong but i uh you know I'm, I wasn't swayed by that, but the argument of the fact that this is a sidekick, and I feel like I don't, I don't feel Edgerton as a sidekick vibe. So I feel you. that's fair. Sorry, so Bleach one, Happy <laughs> Hour zero. Is that our is that our score yeah. so far? Yeah. It's yeah, the current tally. Yes, I keep one score. Okay. Rude. Well, who who would you have picked? Yes, put me on the spot right the fuck now. <laughs> All right. <laughs> It's valid. Go ahead. Don't 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 separate now. It's too early. You guys need to be united <laughs> front. You guys need to be united front. <clears throat> I have worked literally sixty hours in the past four days. Yeah, so she started shut a new up. job, so I've I uh I kind of had to do a lot of half of this pick uh, solo. I, it's early, baby. We'll we'll win no matter what the circumstances are. <laughs> oh, like I'm not I'm not gonna sit here and say because we got a W because you know Tabs is working 60 hours. I'm taking the fucking W. I don't care. <laughs> well, no, if she gets mad at me for these picks, it's it's you know it's valid. It is my fault, but we'll see. Uh so all right. Well, do you guys want to go ahead and uh who did you put down for Superman? Oh, we're going. Next we're we're yeah. going straight up to, really? to Superman. Like we're we're gonna just go right out of the gate. Yeah. We're, we're gonna go. Mike, off. Mike right. goes straight Fuck up yeah. for him too. Uh. <laughs> well, I'll go ahead, Jake. You're, I put Jake uh, Jake down as my pick for Superman. <laughs> that is the that's the stupidest Superman ever. I quit. Um, I would, good night, guys. Totally, I'm going to bed I would, again. I would totally fucking just ruin that role. I would I would I would make it worse than when Nick Cage was going to be it in the Superman. Movie. <laughs> and I would totally I, I just show up in glitter boots and just fuck around. He'd show and up I, in a Vegas Golden Knights jersey. Exactly. <laughs> and I, I know if, Knights. if Jake played Superman, he would make it a fourth wall character and ever just keep looking at the camera, knowing that I'm seeing this movie. Mm-hmm. I fucking. <laughs> hate you i fucking hate me. everything <laughs> is that your I, I real can pick eat, i can eat crypt no. tonight for hours <laughs> <laughs> so no, uh so who did you guys pick for superman all right so there's kind of a theme with some of our picks we went for and i think um if if your listeners have listened to our last episode uh with casting with you guys we kind of have a theme running where we're looking for actors who may or may not be unknown uh, but are also young and can help, you know, carve out that that trilogy or that saga yeah. with DC. So uh, for Superman specifically, um, I chose Adam Gregory. Adam Gregory uh, has been in a few movies. Uh, most notably, uh, he's been in The Bold and the Beautiful. I think uh, for parents out there, he was Drew in Hannah Montana, the movie. Um, <laughs> but he's also... Um, still looking for um, an up and coming role. And he has the act acting chops to be able to do that. He also, I think the the look of Superman is important. He not only has the look fucking of gorgeous, what, man. yeah, just of what a just Superman would look like, yeah. but he's also got the build. I think he's six one. Um, so from an actor's perspective, he's, he's there. He could probably put on a little bit more muscle for the role. Um, but Adam Gregory was our pick. Okay. Uh, we kind of took a similar route when we chose our pick. Uh, we chose Matt Bomer. Okay. Go on. <laughs> and why? Pretty much the he's uh we wanted to take someone who's not really a uh, well known actor. A, yeah, a well known, but someone who has leading man who could bring leading man status to a role like that. Uh, but also 
the reason I picked him mainly is honestly, he, he this dude looks a lot like Henry Cavill. The fucking jawline. He was yeah. in Magic Mike. He's gorgeous. Was he in Magic White collar, Mike? man. Just don't don't both sell Mike. white collars. White collar. <sighs> so we picked a stripper. It's just the jawline. <laughs> the jaw. I was just saying, Mike, how many times did you watch that movie when you were like, man, that's the Superman for me? I've never... He is perfect <laughs> for the new DC, too, apparently. So. <laughs> So, so Superman and Deathstroke are were used to be stripper buddies, but together. he's also he has the build <laughs> as well. Yeah, I mean, I don't think it's a bad pick. Yeah, um, I think that the that the two picks going against each other are actually very close. Um, right. So I think that there's uh, you, literally you can you can almost go either way, um, and you can start to yeah. dissect certain things. The hard thing is going to be the hard thing is if you pick like and I feel bad for Ryan in this sense, like let's say you pick one and then we find out who Batman is, because sometimes like or somebody else in the Justice League partnering characters next to characters also matters in casting. And that's going to be, I think, the the other thing that we're going to look back and go, oh, yeah, that that makes sense. But also, oh, do I see that Superman with that Batman? So that, that right. makes it really fucking hard. Yeah. Right. Ultimately, my Superman, I feel, is rather stoic and has a bold presence. So, I mean, that that's like key. I mean, they're both, like I said, I mean, Jesus, if you look at these these gentlemen, <laughs> I mean, chiseled humans, but beautiful. I mean, for real, they both they both have the look. But given the experience of acting ability and the fact that I am an actual white collar fan and have seen like the more breadth of, of, of the ability of the actor, I got to give someone with a little bit of formidable chops to actually go over this. So I'm going to go Bomer here, Okay, but right. I don't think, I don't think Gregory's a bad pick. I, I think, you know, again, I'm going to go ahead and just do my sorry, you know, from the Midwest <laughs> side, but <laughs> sorry. Is, yeah, you know, oh, but you know, oh. I'm going Bomir just based on, just based on experience and the fact that I've seen him in wider ranges. Even though the character might be a little bit more straightforward, I think mm -hmm. uh, I've seen more from him. So I could Bomir. honestly see both of these guys, either one of these guys, really pulling that role off. It was a tight pick. I yeah. mean, I'm not, I'm not gonna. It's it's a sliver here. It also depends on what what universe you're putting them into, like what the right. theme of the universe is. Like obviously in the Zack Snyder verse, uh, Cavill was was awesome, but you know, are you trying to go for more of a Smallville feel? You know, so it it just really depends. But no, overall, I think both of those picks are pretty close. Uh, let's get overall no Superman on that one. sucks. Superman yeah. sucks. Let's just say that. So yeah, I don't I'm not to give a shit about this. That. He's I'm not disagreeing with yeah. that. I'm kind of hoping, hoping for a little bit more from back back from him. That's why I'm going Bomber. Yeah, Superman is the uh, the essence of the white privilege character. So there we go. <laughs> all right. Up next, we have Batman. Jesus, man, we're just knocking them all out, aren't we? Aren't we? Uh, Mike wanted to go heavy and hard right out of the gate. No, that's after we get done recording. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong text. Wrong text. <laughs> uh, do you want I'm us to going go to first bed? I have to be up at 8 a.m. So fuck that. I think we went first on the last two, Mike. Why don't you, you throw out your uh, Why don't you throw out your Batman right. since you're we, since you're the great oh, caster that you are? <laughs> well, I don't know about that. Bill Batman, but I, I appreciate it. Uh, we chose Scott Adkins. We. Okay. Okay. United Front fun. And the reason behind that is Scott Adkins has on-screen combat experience. He's done a lot of uh, fight movies. Um, he he has that uh, that Bruce Wayne-esque uh, playboy appearance to him. Uh, dude pulls off a suit really well. Uh, but mainly it's because of his uh, his fighting skills in film. He's done a bunch. He's, so he's, he's going to be in the new Wick, if I understand right, right? Oh, the new John Wick? Yeah, I think he's in Wick 4, if I understand. Oh, okay. Fucking A. All right. But So, for us, I, we went Sam Witwer. Uh, one, of our, or one of my favorite shows was Being Human, uh, when they redid the American style. Um, he played a vampire. He has been in The Mist, uh, Solo. He's... 
he's got good acting chops. He's never had that huge prominent role besides TV that's made him really jump the echelon. Mm -hmm. But he's got a, like, the thing is, even when you look at photos of him, he's got that dark brooding presence in every photo where it's almost his eyes are shadowed. He's got the chiseled chin for it. Mm -hmm. Um, But he has it to where I think he could pull off the Playboy appeal at a party as Bruce Wayne. And then you put the cow and mask on him and he's going to pull off Batman and have have the the darker tone to his voice. Yeah. Sam so, Witwer. Sam Witwer. I, I just think I think he's got the build. He's he's fought in shows before. He's got good acting. Um and I just I feel like they've always done it well with the it's one of those characters like in lighting and everything also matters in a movie that he's gonna pull off Batman very, very good. And it's the perfect age range for everybody that we've casted in this in our series to where he would match up well. He's six one. Perfect build. Him and Superman would be toe to toe. He was, uh, he was Maxwell Lord on Supergirl, actually. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and he's the voice for Darth Maul. And he okay. was in a little known show that maybe I only enjoyed called Once Upon a Time. I love Once uh, Upon a Time. Yeah. So, um, I'm gonna, you know, give a little bit about my Batman and and why I. Uh, I like more Wayne than Batman. Okay. So if, if for that aspect, I'm going to go uh, Bleach Bros here because why I, I believe Adkins could be a, a physical presence in it and def- definitely like, you know, pull it off. I, I need a little bit more charm. I need a little bit more. I need, I need more Bruce Wayne for my Batman in my Batman movie. And that's, that's kind of why I'm going to go here with Whitworth. I, I like his chops a little bit better as far as more of a complete <laughs> actor, but he yeah. does still have like the cowl face. Like you, you see, you see that face and like mm-hmm. it's out there, but you can still see him as like a schmoozer somewhat the public, not quite right with them, but they also kind of, you know, deal with them. They love him because he is the billionaire playboy. So yeah, that I'm going mm-hmm. with that. Can I just say that Ryan is just a floating head right now, which is hysterical to me. <laughs> Incoming message from the big giant head. And the graphics I'm, look better I'm than She-Hulk. Or uh, I'm for, than Thor, it's Love, it's and Thunder. All about so marketing. I'm not more important yeah. than my logo. That's <laughs> oh, it's so it's so good. I just I had to throw that out there because it was even funny. though we're not even on video. I can I get rid of this damn thing? I only had it can, on but we can also put it up on our YouTube. So it's, it's all right. whatever. All right, man. <laughs> all right. Well, up next we have Wonder Woman. I call this and we're just knocking out the big three, aren't we? Oh, Which is why I because the goat is <sighs> there's there's no suspense to this whatsoever. I am like, very upset. Because this is my OCD and like take charge of why are you leading with the the big hitters first? You got to keep people listening to the end of the episode. Thank you. I mean, who cares who Aquaman is, right? I do. He's my favorite. Fuck Aquaman. Aquaman. (laughs) (laughs) Namor is greater than Aquaman. Exactly. So, right, so are, are we going first or are you guys going Chase. first? Uh, you got, you guys Vincent are, Chase. Yeah. You guys are more than welcome. Go. Yeah, you go first. Um, we did that so, first. So I actually chose this one. Um I I've liked this actress actually for a little while. Um I'm I went with Elodie Young. Uh she she played um Electra in the um Daredevil television series. Mm. Um I felt that not that Gal Gadot or Gal Gadot, however it's pronounced, is a bad Wonder Woman. Gadot. She's a great Wonder Woman. But I felt like Wonder Woman needs to look a little bit more of a different ethnicity, I guess. Like, um, And so Elodie Young does have that uh, Native American slash Asian slash whatever you want to call it look to her, which I think is good. She's already a badass in fight scenes. She's got a little bit of an accent that works. Um, so that's why I went with her. I will say this too that when we're saying it's I, I mean we we debated about this we, a yeah, while we back. Collected. And the nice thing is Ryan, like B word would sell me on one, or I'd sell him on another. Or we'd go back and forth and have reasons because we had multiple picks for all these. But this is this is a killer pick in my opinion. Oh, that is a good pick. It's, it's yeah, a, I love her on pick. Daredevil. I'm excited to see her come back for the for the. She's series. dead, bro. Wait, what? She died? Are you sure? Yep, she died. What? 
Well, R.I.P. <laughs> Damn, what a downer. <laughs> We uh we chose. Wait, can I please have one? Go. You have said the past two. Go. Rude. You told me to say the ones that I picked, so that's what I'm doing. <clears throat> well, you picked literally three fourths of them, yeah. and I told you I don't care what you say as long as I get Wonder Woman, Black Canary, and okay. Green Arrow. Go. So our Wonder Woman is Alexandra Daddario. Oh, okay. Mm. Um, I mean, she's boobies and subies. She boobies. <laughs> Definite boobies. Yo. Absolutely beautiful. Yo. She's physically fit. She has played she's tall. Multiple roles in action type films. And yeah. They were in slow motion though. She's fit. She is fit. She's, she's fit. I see her as more of a and this has been a fan cast for a long time, but more of a Poison Ivy. If we're talking about having her in the DC universe, um, then I do a Wonder Woman. Maybe a hero? Yeah. Well, I no, I don't think that she couldn't be a hero, but I think you can have her into the DC universe as Poison Ivy, and I think that that would, that would strike a, a, a big chord with a lot of fans in a good way. Um, well, I could see her as, as either a hero. She's I think she's got the acting chops oh, to pull she, off a hero or a villain. Oh, absolutely. Even an uh uh anti-hero too. Yeah. The in between. We on <laughs> fun fact, we have chosen uh literally every fan cast. She is a part of every fan cast that we have <laughs> yeah. ever done. Yeah, she was our pick for Rogue when we went on Beach mm -hmm. Bros. Yeah. She was mm -hmm. also the pick for Daenerys Targaryen in our Game of Thrones episode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. she was, wasn't she? And she I'm, was. I'm actually really disappointed that she wasn't Daenerys, uh, just because right. Daenerys had a lot of topless scenes, and I still have yet to get that. <laughs> um, so if I'm just putting it out there. And you got, <laughs> you got True Detective, man. Just go ahead. <laughs> oh, that's right. She was yeah, like, yeah. She, like, yeah. Like, what, True what Detective was really need? good. What else do you need, man? That first was an underrated was really show, actually. No, the yeah. first season was really good. The second season that, was That's the one she was in, man. That's she the one she was that. in, dude. <clears throat> she she was the one that was writing uh, right. um, um, Woody. Woody, right. Woody, Woody, Woody Harrelson. Woody. When she would let him Literally put it in any right. hole. I remember that. I'm yeah. Yeah. I very vividly remember that. Yeah. I hope so. Ew. Smoke it. Sam. Ew. I think she could pull off the Wonder Woman suit pretty well, too, though. Oof. God, well, I'm thinking yeah, so, of her. So can Megan Fox, though, if we go ew. back 15 years. No, but, ew. But I just, I mean, I like Alexandra Daddario, and I appreciate your consistency with throwing her in there. I just don't know that I see her as Wonder Woman. And that's just me as a fan, but take that or leave it. But hey, a lot, of, a lot of people didn't see Ben Affleck as Batman, but I did. Got us. I did you? I never did. Oh, yeah, I, but yeah, and he became Affleck the best day. Batman, period. Yeah, Ben Affleck is my Batman, 100%. And if anybody out there who's listening to this, you guys go Ben Affleck as Batman. Fuck you. You're not a real fan. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Go listen. I... Go listen to the Bleach Bros Batman Day episode. Mm -hmm. Just don't listen about Jake's prediction about Robert Pattinson. Yeah, I was wrong there. <laughs> I was wrong. Yeah, I do yeah. like that. I, I'm a big Pattinson fan, so I'm just gonna. Go well, I'm a Pattinson fan too. I'm a huge fan of his. I just I I predicted Ryan on the episode that he was gonna be the best Batman ever, and I was wrong. He's not a bad Batman. No, I don't he, think he's done yet, so I really don't want to go ahead and just no, because the sequel is going to be a musical with the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Batman on Broadway, yeah. Sorry. I would see. <laughs> I would see. He had me at high life, dude. Like I, I love the guy. I think I think he's a great actor. I'm not gonna. I don't feel like the the material really match what he's capable of doing so i'm gonna sit on that for a little bit for pattinson but going back to the decision here on wonder woman which i, I still think gal gadot gadot whatever you want to call her Godot. Is, is, Godot. Is, is, is pretty much the goat on this oh but, yeah oh yeah 100 yeah. to to try to step up i'm i'm gonna and my goodness man i love alexander Daddario. i uh White Lotus. If you guys seen White Lotus, that's that's a fantastic, hilarious show. If you haven't seen it, I think she's a great actress. But as far as the physicality of the Amazon 
princess that I need. I need to go with Bleach Brothers on this one. I need I need more okay. physicality from her. She's more of a a a low key good actress, you know, seductress. She plays her part, but I I need, I need more physicality out out of her as a role for her to go there and. I'm, I'm Let going me punch her in the face a couple times. Cool. I'll punch her just a couple times. <laughs> I just, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's just, I, I haven't seen it from her, you know? So I, I, I need Rosie more. the robot. Rosie the robot. She's playing Rosie. Yeah. Alexandria Dadaro. She's going to play Rosie the robot in the live action Jetsons. <laughs> All right. Done. Winner. Winner. There winner. we go. I need well, I need I, a little more physicality. I need I need to believe it from her. I I she barely is moved in like any 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 movie I've ever seen her from. So I, I I need a little more physicality. When Tabs was posting earlier today on her Twitter and she kept saying I need more Rosie, I really thought she was giving away her pick and it was gonna be Rosie the Riveter <laughs> from <clears throat> the DC Universe. I was like, Oh, I already know who she's being no. like, or not not who's speaking, no. but that's the character they're gonna use. And I'm so glad I was fucking wrong. <laughs> Me too. No, I yeah. said if Rosie is not mentioned, then right. I'm gonna leave. And I thought you meant Rosie the Riveter from DC. Yeah. That's what I'm. Yes. Or Rosie Palmer and her five sisters. Oh, <laughs> rough. <laughs> Rosie All right, Mike. What other what other heavy hitter are you choosing? <laughs> are we going with the Flash or Green Lantern? Let's go Black Canary. Oh, what? So what? now we're all right. Yeah, now we're gonna drop it up. All right. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But, Why didn't you go with the lesser ones first? Okay. Well, so. welcome back, everybody who was getting ready to tune out. <laughs> <laughs> just, just to let you know, uh, I picked like three of these, yeah. so I had no say so very much. I'm like, okay, cool. I'm working. I have to clean a room right now, and he was like, okay, cool. So literally, none of that happened. It it did. I have the text messages. Okay, me too. <laughs> uh, Black Canary is that us or them? That's us. Okay. Uh, Mike chose Catherine Winnick as Black Canary. Wow. I don't know why, <clears throat> but uh, there you go. You had over a week, and you picked that. <clears throat> Way to fucking go! Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> why? Dick, dick. Why did you pick that? She looks like Lagertha. What? Oh, she's fucking hot. She's Her Lagertha. nose looks like you wouldn't Lagertha, have any cocaine left. Right? Oh, Did God. you guys watch Vikings? Did you guys watch Vikings? Oh, I watch Vikings. I like her. I just, I mean, uh, just too old for the part. She ain't too old for me. No, that's fine. I mean, I like MILFs too, Jeez. but. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pretty good pick. Who'd you guys pick? We actually, the funny thing was, we texted each other the exact same one on this. So, B word, who do we got? Vanessa Kirby. Mm -hmm. Who's that? Jesus Christ, give me two seconds. I was asking anybody, not just you. Vanessa Kirby's a British actress. Um, she, let's see, what was uh, Midsummer Night's Dream? Um, let's see what's what's I just watched notable? actually a movie the with Rise. her last night. She's Pieces gonna of be a woman. in the new Mission Impossible mm. movies. She's yeah, hot up and cover. She was also in About Time. I don't know mm -hmm. if you guys saw that movie. It's a great movie, oh, yeah. by the way. I love that movie. But uh, if you guys haven't yet, the uh, Crown. Watch, she's watch. She's yeah, very big with the Crown. Yeah, that's the one. You want to see her acting chops though? Watch Pieces of Me, and watching her have mm. dramatic, drawn out scenes. Um, just but also just like a suspenseful character that can like hold her own yeah, yeah. that i think will do it um <clears throat> i think she has the build black canary is enough of a side character where it's not have to be too prominent uh hence why you know we're doing her fourth in the pick instead of first but you know it makes sense um but she's a she she i think she's a good actress i think uh she has the appeal it was funny though because this was one of those ones like i said i picked her b word picked her we text each other and we were on the same par um, I don't know how we came to that conclusion, but we did, and it worked out. <clears throat> okay. Noted. She has finish at the same time. Sometimes. <laughs> Sometimes. Uh, yeah. Usually when you're giving the Eiffel Tower. Yeah. The Eiffel Tower. <laughs> oh. you know, every once in a while, we, we get together do the Dutch rudder. Mm -hmm. Yeah, man. You have yeah. to listen. A happy hour wobbly H, right? Yeah, yeah. that's it. That's it. Uh, you have to listen make... to Slayer while you do it, though. Yeah, uh, man, sometimes it's Megadeth. They came out with a new album. We needed yeah, something for true. the we needed something for the hateful no music hut. 
There you the go. Ace of Spades. <laughs> Ace of Spades. <laughs> I kind of need a little background of like, you know, what stage of the movie we're going for here, but I do kind of like the up and coming actor. I so this to, to, to one. let this one's a tough one. To, this to let you know, Lesk is where we're coming from. Um, our actors, our actors are not like year one. Um, so I don't, I don't think we're doing origin stories per se with right. these guys, but a lot of them are young. Um, and they, again, they can fill a fill a decade or a decade and a half worth of movies. We do have some older characters and Jake and I haven't explicitly talked about it, but it's almost as if they were like the original heroes and they're kind of bringing these youth, bringing the mm -hmm. youth on that's going to yeah. kind of take over. So with the black canary, um, she is one of those younger characters for us. And that's why age has been kind of important with some of these picks. Um, and, and as a collective, it's a diverse age range for us. Um, so that's kind of where we're coming from as far as thematically, I think that thematically these guys can kind of fill out whatever we want All to right. be able to put to Im implement. Cause like when I think about, you know, Superman and Batman, like it depends on where you want to go. Like if you want to go more dark, it, you know, later dark night, or if you want to go early, like, you know, there's more range there. So the age doesn't really matter for me as much, you know, where Catherine Winnick is 44 years old. But she could and still fucking kick ass. She I know. I dude, right. I I watched Vikings like I mean that that's my girl right there. I mean like, Jamie I'm, Lee I, Curtis can still show up in Halloween shows too. So I mean I you know. they have to pause yeah. every 20 minutes so she could take her Metamucil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. She got a vote, dude. <laughs> her her calendar pillbox. <laughs> well, the one thing we have to one thing we have to remember too, Ryan, is that you know, some of these characters that we chose with age is also depending on their background story. Like, you know, Aquaman is gonna live longer than fucking Batman is. So right. we can choose a, a younger character that has a youthful appearance because you know he could be a thousand years old or whatever, right? So that sure. also went into play for us, like when we were picking John Stewart or all these other characters that are gonna come up soon of how they'll age with the type of character they are too within the, mm -hmm. the, the within right, the movies that we're creating them for. And that's where I'm going with, with Canon here. Like, I mean, what is the, you know, is there an, an elder black canary story that like, we're, we're really that familiar with? Like that's kind of, but I, she's such a badass though. Like, you know, like I said, Catherine Winnick, in my opinion, was she's just slayed. Mm, this is a tough one, to be honest, because I feel that she could crush the actual role, but like, you know, what what is the role that we're actually trying to fill here is where I'm at. Um, because I think Vanessa Kirby has the look and the chops of an actress, but Again, going back to the physicality of like a superhero, you know, I it, it could be up and coming in the new Mission Impossible stories, but from what I've seen her in, you know, she was in Fallout. I mm, this is this is the toughest one yet, mostly because of my, of my crush on Winnick. Um, <laughs> so your bias is what you're telling me. A little bit because because hey, she's hey, we're all biased. Not lagger. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I, every find me a judge that isn't, and, and you're a fucking liar. Um, <laughs> hey, you know, hey, I, I like to cut this guy's jib. I'm gonna let him skate on this one. You know, like I, you know, there's they're supposed to be impervious, but here here we are in this world. Ah, fuck. I am going to lean. Ah. Based on the actual character of Black Canary and what I know of her, which isn't one one that I know very much of, I'm I'm gonna go Vanessa Kirby here, just just based on on age and uh, ability here. But I fucking okay. love, I love Catherine Winnick, and I think that's an inspiring choice. But I just at age forty four, I just don't know if I could I could see it pulled off. Sorry for everybody drinking at home. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> so we're gonna. Oh yeah. We're gonna take a quick break. 
for this week's shot out of the week. And yeah. I will say right now, this has never happened with a guest. Uh, here we go. This week's shout out goes to the Bleach Bros. Yeah, the Bleach Bros. What? The fucking Bleach Bros, who yeah. is on the podcast tonight, is our shout out. We spun the wheel and it just so happened to fall on Bleach Bros. I'm not drinking bleach, yo. <laughs> we didn't choose bleach or anything bleach related but we did choose does anybody want a dr pepper <laughs> <laughs> so this week's uh shout out goes to the amazing bleach bros guys and uh well, amazing is a bit of a stretch but whatever i still think they're amazing <laughs> No, you're right. Thank you. <laughs> this shout out goes to the Bleach Bros. It is not on fire because we're already kind of two sheets to the wind. Well, I don't know if we are. I am because I've been drinking since four o'clock. Yep. Or five o'clock because that's I when I got home. Started like two hours. But ago. Uh, here we go. Uh, to Bleach Bros. It is a quote unquote flaming Dr. Pepper. Cheers. <clears throat> Woo! And now. Our sponsor, Bosky Coffee. We at Happy Hour Podcast are proud to announce that we are now sponsored by one amazing coffee company. Bosky Coffee. Bosky Coffee Roasters began several years ago in a small town in central New Mexico. Born out of their love and passion for great coffee, the desire to make sure they knew where their coffee is coming from and that it is ethically sourced. Bosky buys only the best Arabica beans, blending and roasting each small batch personally. They only use the highest quality extracts and flavors for their flavored coffees. They have tons of types of coffee and flavors. Like single origin. Premium roast, like their breakfast blend and espresso. Flavored coffees, like their most popular high mountain pinion coffee, which uses real New Mexican pinions for an authentic southwestern flavor. Oh, and teas. You can shop online at bosquecoffeeroasters.com. That is B-O-S-Q-U-E coffeeroasters.com. Use promo code BOSKYCOFFEEHAPPYHOUR upon checkout for 10% off your purchase. Enjoy coffee the way it should be. Simple and delicious. And we're back. All right, let's go. Have, have you ever seen Flaming Dr. Peppers go wrong? Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, <laughs> I at the well, bar. When... I've had one go wrong on me. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I I, no. set I lit the bar on fire. fire. Exactly. I had a I had a Fu Manchu burn on my face once because I put the <laughs> shot to my mouth before you know we were hammered in college, and it burned like in a ring on my lip. And I had that. And I can't. I can't. I didn't start shaving facial hair till a couple years ago. So yeah, I never could cover that shit up. <laughs> I set my whole face. My whole. I turned into Ghost Rider. <laughs> That's awesome. My whole head. Can I just say this this shot out was the second best, or if not the first best. It was good. The blow job from porn stash was probably the best. No, that was awful. It was lumpy. Lumpy. A drink. lumpy blow job? A lumpy oh, blow killer? job. The painkiller. Come on. Shouts for or no, the I'm thinking killer. of the... Oh, the painkiller was pretty good too. I'm thinking the of pain the painkiller was the pretty Florida good. Man. The Florida man with the alligator come. Uh, yeah, that was terrible. Uh, that was terrible. Yeah, but it, nothing is worse than the designated quizzers. That was, was bourbon and tequila. Yeah, that was the worst. <sighs> it was I wanted to shot. die so bad. But no, this one was actually pretty good. Yeah. It was actually really good. It was. Thanks, Bleach Bros, for being the shot out. <laughs> thanks for the thanks for the shot out. You're yeah. welcome. So reset. Ooh. What what what's the score right now? Uh four one. Four one what? Bleach. Okay, B perfect. I, I just wanted I just to hear want, you say I want that. people to know B word smiling. He's doing that on purpose. Oh, B word wanted to gloat. He did I don't that on Give purpose. a shit if we lose or not. I couldn't care less. I'm having fun. I hey, do you, because I'm you've got it. You've I'm got an out tabs. You've been working sixty hours a week, and Mike did all the picks. Yeah. You're fine. No, here's the thing. There's four left. There's hold on. It's time to go. One, it's time to go back. You two, can win five, four, three. Three of the last four is what I chose. So if they don't win, I quit. I quit. I'm going well, to bed. Your black canary, <laughs> your black canary didn't win, so 
That was not my black oh, no, canary. Thank you. That was mine. Sorry. Everything you have chosen has lost. Technically, the the English word is have chose. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake! Shut up, B word. <laughs> no, I'm I'm actually with B word on this. I unmuted. Well, I unmuted my mic for this horse shit. I'm uh, here for fucking grammar. I'm every here everything easy. you chose has here, X, Y, and Z, but that's okay. <laughs> to quote, I'm with B word on a this very one. distinguished gentleman. Fuck words. Fuck words. Thank you. Exactly. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. All right. The let's fact go. that you called him distinguished is. I can't even spell distinguished, so suck my dick. You can't even spell dick, so suck my duck. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Get harder from a duck anyways. Quack. <laughs> Sorry, Ryan, we're back. <laughs> Ryan, just, the yeah, floating I'm head is just staring at us all. All right, so who we got next? Uh, are we gonna go the Flash? We're down to Aquaman, Green Arrow, Green Lantern. Let's and go the Flash. Aquaman. I'm voting Aquaman. That's my dude. Ooh, All right. Okay. You want to take Aquaman? I I I will take Aquaman I will take all any day. Aquaman. I will right. take hey. all of Aquaman. I Save know who Aquaman, Aquaman is. Okay. So we'll go first, I guess. Uh, our Aquaman is Liam Hemsworth. Oh, okay. I told you. I told you, I, Jake. You did, you did call that one. You did. Did you guys have that one too? No, B nope. word said that you would pick that. Oh. I said that you oh. would pick that, so I picked a different pick, which I still think is better. So says you, but okay. I mean, it's all subjective, right? Of course. Who's your pick? Oh. So our pick, we went with Garrett Headland. My first time seeing Garrett Headland was actually in the movie Four Brothers. He was the youngest brother in Four Brothers. But he's actually been in a number of movies. He was in Tron Legacy. He was in Aragon. He he was in Unbroken. Um, he has the look of the comic book Aquaman, um, which which you guys do as well with um, one of the brothers there. Well, but, my argument on that was if if Liam Hemsworth was completely clean shaven and didn't have stubble, he would look pretty comic accurate. No, he, he would look would like look, the new yeah. I, New Fifty Two Aquaman. Mm -hmm. I, stubble doesn't worry me and liam hemsworth um the reason why we didn't well one of the reasons why we didn't choose liam liam hemsworth is because we wanted to have something different yeah but garrett headland actually has the 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 build he he's older than batman and superman which i think was important to us because we mm -hmm. wanted to have somebody who um, can have that elder role to these brand new superheroes that are going to deal with their own strife um, but if you've watched his acting, he is a phenomenal actor. He does I a love damn good Brothers. job. He was awesome in Four Brothers. That's a great movie, though. I like Four Brothers. Four Brothers was actually an underrated movie. It, oh, 100%. It's one of my favorite Mark Wahlberg movies, actually. <laughs> that and Shooter. I love Shooter. Shooter's underrated. Shooter. Shooter's very underrated. I love that movie, dude. Go Same go here. seek that out right now. Yep. Yeah, it's it's a good it, it's it's corny, but it's a good watch. Well, I don't have to work in the morning, so I might go watch that after this. Sure. <laughs> I'll snuggle with Brienne. Okay. Okay. Of Tarth. She is Brienne of Tarth. Well, our Brienne is fat and not very tall. That's funny because the Bleach Bros. Brian is fat, so <laughs> <laughs> Baby. sometimes I slick his hair back and call him Brienne too. Yeah. Baby. Do you color it blonde Baby. and put armor on him? Not right, you, I Lucy. follow him around like a crazy Baby. redhead and hit on him all night. Come here, Baby. Come here. With your fur Come coat. Here, exactly. Yeah, this fake beard. Come here. <laughs> Let's go up next. We'll we will well, do... Leskis has to pick. Oh, I... oh yeah, yeah, he has sorry. to pick. I haven't sorry. Spoken. I'm jumping the gun. I apologize. I apologize. That's all right, man. All right. Because, <laughs> you know, you might want to be interested in this one. Because, honestly, when I see Aquaman, I see Liam Hemsworth, man. I'm, I'm giving this one to Happy Hour Podcast. I I, res I respect the call here. But, and, and, yeah, no, it's Liam. We're giving it to Liam here. Sounds good. Brian, you forgot to apologize to. Bruce I know Thomas. you haven't said sorry. I'm trying to do better. I'm trying to do better. <laughs> Trust me, I would do the same because that's where I'm at. I'm like, I'm so sorry that I'm going to choose this one. <laughs> no, no, no. There's, there's no, you know, it's just, it's just my nature. But you know, I <laughs> says the big I'm floating. Not, head. I can't, I can't, I can't <laughs> apologize every time. <laughs> 
All right. Up next, we will do. He's a little. I don't know. He's a little. I, yeah. I'm. I'm going Liam here. I we'll was. Go... I was waffling, but yeah, I'm going Liam here. I'm definitely going Liam here. Let's All do right. uh, Green Arrow next. So for Green Arrow, <clears throat> this is another one where I think we already knew who the 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 major fan casting was out in the world. Mm. Oh yeah. But, yeah. But we picked um, Travis Fimmel from Vikings. And he's is he the lead on that show? Yes. Okay. Uh so he has, I mean, the facial hair is a thing, but the acting, the nice thing about him though, if he played Green Arrow, is he can have that stoic quietness, like mm-hmm. a hunter, and not have to talk much. Or you can give him some lines and he can pull it off. There's another reason we we went this route though, too. We wanted somebody older to to Be lead mentor. our arsenal character, mentor. But the other thing was is we know the dream fan casting out there, and we didn't want to pick what probably everybody else has fucking picked forever. And okay. you're probably going to say it next. I could be wrong, but if you don't, I'll say who I'm thinking. But who do you have? Uh, we have your pick for Aquaman. Garrett. Oh, really? Yeah. Yep. Oh, okay. Garrett Good. Headland. I, I see. I figured you guys were going to choose Charlie Hunnam. That's oh, we, fuck yeah. no. I, from I, Sons no. of Anarchy. Honestly, no. if Charlie, how do you say his, Hunnam? Hunnam. 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 Hummus? Hunnam. Hunnam. Charlie Hummus. Hun- undeclared, <laughs> undeclared underrated show, by the way. Yeah. But no, I... He would be even if he'd a rig- TV show Aquaman. Even... You mean Green Arrow? Or, yeah. Sorry. No. Uh, I just, I don't, I wouldn't like him as Green Arrow, even if he actually ended up getting cast in that role in real life. I'd well, I, I told B-Word when we were talking about it, I said, if you like somebody who yells while they act, that's when he's best. <laughs> like, that's what he does. Like, there's the, what, the movie Green Street Hooligans. When he's yelling at people, he's great. When he's talking normal, he's not. Same thing in Sons of Anarchy. And I love Sons of Anarchy. Don't get me wrong. But the scenes where he's, like, he, it's almost over trying in cer- certain things. So I'm, that's why we didn't also go that route. But that's what, that's been the fan dream out there forever. And I think it's just because yeah. you put a mask on and he looks exactly like the character. But. Travis Fimmel to us, I think, for all the reasons we have as a pick, uh, you, that's a good. I mean, we just gave a reason why we picked Garrett for another character. So yeah, I see it. The the reason I I picked. Uh, hold on, let me put my glasses on and I uh, Fennec Fennec Fenwick, whatever his last name is. Wait, no, so, it was not. Uh, Garrett Helmond, Head Headland, whatever Headland, <laughs> whoever the Jesus. fuck his name is. Have you seen the gentleman though? Going back to hunt, I, I, we're not going to get into hunt him. Yeah. I, I like Hunnam as because an actor. I like Hunnam a lot, dude. Like, yeah, I, I really think there's think there's that party that's a yelling. Right he's not just a yelling character. Yeah. I think I've never seen the Gentleman or Triple Frontier. And cetera, Triple Frontier was good. Yeah, I'll check those I, I, out. But I just I, yeah, Lucy, stop. Sorry, the dog's going crazy. Uh, <laughs> Tabs had a peanut butter sandwich before we started. Hi, I'm peanut butter sandwich. <laughs> you wish. <laughs> How'd you know my nickname be word? <laughs> I uh did you pick him or did I? I did. You did. Well, I I looked him up because I had never seen this guy. I said, of, hey, let's pick this guy. And you were like, okay, whatever. <laughs> out, outside of four brothers, I've never seen him in anything else. So I had to go kind of jog my memory of who he was. And I uh I like his build for that character i think the uh the what's the word i'm looking for S- sometimes oliver queen can be kind of a uh, a quirky smart ass at times and i see him pulling off a character like that pretty well also so that was uh that was the reason behind why we uh we chose him right on for what almost put Lagatha over the top, uh, I'm I'm a big Vikings fan, and mm-hmm. Ragnar's Ragnar, dude. He he covers all the bases, dude. He's I'm fucking sorry. good. Yeah. He's fucking just a charismatic. He can play crazy, wild, psychopath, straightforward, everything. Like I I, I love I love the guy as an actor. I I, I gotta go. I gotta go there, man. Okay. Yeah, Bleach Brothers. Okay, Bleach. Okay. Yeah, cool, cool, cool. Ragnar so Lothbrok. He, yeah. he, he, if you haven't seen those early seasons, well, I assume you have since you, mm-hmm. s- since you nominated, uh, you know, for 
Black Canary, but if you haven't yeah. seen those, I mean, he captured everything. That that series, what what I don't can't even remember. Is it on the History Network? Is that it's what on the History hell Channel? Me? Yeah, they right, did it on yeah. History, and it was one of those like, why is this on here? Right. And I started but, watching it though, and I fucking <laughs> fell in love with it. Yeah, and you put it over the top. I mean, Ragnar Lothbrook. I I play a stupid game called Clash of uh, Clans Clash on of my Clans, phone, yeah. and every like tenth person I fight against is, is Ragnar Lothbrook. Man, like I mean, it's 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 insane. His awesome. charisma is off the charts. So, yeah, I got to go there. Okay, cool, cool. All right, up next we will do the Flash. Okay. Bleach Bros. Oh, okay, we'll go again. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um. So this one, um, I I I had to sell B word on it at first because he never heard of the kid. Uh, he's new. Um. And help me with the pronunciation, B word, if I butcher it. But it's Gavin Casalingo. Yeah, I think it's it, it, Gavin Ooh. Casalingo. I he's think he's beautiful. He's young. Um. He has has a. Uh, I think he has the build for the Flash. I would go for. You know, skinny, but the nice thing is, too, he's played a track star in a movie before <laughs> called Nine Seconds, and that was all by accident. No joke. I looked up this kid and I was like, I think he's a good actor. And then I went, Oh, fuck, he played in a track movie, too, and he was the star on the team. Oh, yeah, he's already said he's already done all his training. Um, but I think he could grow and have the awkward quirkiness, too. Like, he's one of those guys, he's not, he's good looking, but he's not too good looking where you can't make him a little weird. Um, mm-hmm. because I think that you need that for, for, um, Flash. But that, that's who we went with because we think he would age well and grow up. Because in, in our Justice League, the Flash isn't as old as everybody else. I mean, he time travels. So you can have him sort of in any age range. So he's the youngest guy probably on the team. All right. Okay. And we chose. Do you want me to say it? Yeah. Uh, we chose Dylan Minette for our Flash. Uh, he's young. Uh, He's not really new. He's got acting chops for a long time since he was preteen-ish. We think he could grow. He could also, like, bulk up to be the Flash. Um, But he's not not old enough to, to get to that point where he's too old for the Flash. He's right at that good age. Yeah. Oh, he was an Alexander in the terrible, horrible, no good, very bad day. He was and also in Thirteen Reasons Why, though. Thirteen he Reasons was. Why. Is 13, why. Yep. And he's good. He's, yep. why people know him. He's also in the new Scream movie. Yes. Yep. Was that any good, by the way? It no, was, it was actually pretty good. It was no. It was all right. No. Three different opinions. That's awesome. No. Who it was sucked. in the new Scream movie? He Everybody? was the son. No, he was the son. Oh yeah, the, of, the guy uh, son. got killed the in the sh- kitchen. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay. His his mom. Thank you. Spoiler alert. Sorry. Yeah, thanks, man. Uh, if, if you haven't, no. If you fucking died real quickly in the kitchen he, is a good, no, good boy. He actually he had boy. the best scenes because he was it was. He was sweet, man. It was like, oh man, him and his mom got a great relationship going. He did. <laughs> but it was so like anticipation, like the anticipation of him, like, oh shit, he opened the cabinet, he's gonna die. He, he opened the he kitchen was. closet. He's going to die. There was a lot of he, in his uh, a lot of So did he run away fast in the movie? No. No. <laughs> then there you go. He can't wow. be a fucking flash. <laughs> he got <laughs> He got smoked in the doorway if I remember yep. right. No, Not quick he, enough. No, he was in the bathroom. No, he was in the doorway, the front door. Mm-hmm. His was mom got the... killed in the front yard. Oh, she was in the yeah, front yeah, yard. Yeah, he yeah. opened the door. Daylight. She was in the She was like, my, my mom yeah, shut the door. Like 2 o'clock in the afternoon in the middle of the front yard. In the throat. Yeah. Yep. They both got. Oh, that was in the throat, and he. Yep. Okay. Everyone gets stabbed in the throat. I, I saw movie. the mom in the throat movie this morning when I was on the toilet, but it was totally <laughs> different. <laughs> so you were watching Pornhub. <laughs> oh no! 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 <laughs> so, no. You Don't said you saw <laughs> you saw mom in the throat, and you were exactly. On the <laughs> Leskis was in the milf section on Pornhub. This he morning. was. Total he was milk. taking his morning Total news. milk section. <laughs> his morning Step coffee. Mom. Step mom. Oh, Step, Step mom. What um, are you doing? Whew. All right. You guys picked a couple, like, you know, lesser known then. Up and yes. comers here. And well, I respect it. 
a flash, you know, I feel like the physicality of it is pretty much the main character and his like stretch out limberness, you know. I I gotta Back give it to Bleach. I gotta give it to Bleach Brothers here, man. I'm sorry. It's just like, you know, I, I feel like the 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 physical specimen of what I've seen here, and I can't get enough of an acting edge to your selection over the fact that I can see the other kid in the role because that's the way he fits the Flash character in my mind. Cool. Sorry. No, that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. Sorry. There it is. Uh, Leskis, we are no longer friends. Mike, we're getting a divorce tomorrow. <laughs> and uh, it's, gotta, it's over. We're done. So that it. leaves us. So that Green Lantern us. can save you, man. Just no, I'll be it like, hold on. Yeah, that's six great. Two. No, so, it's I mean, six two. It could be the great. I'll be like, this is the best oh. pick <laughs> of the whole fucking show we've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Mike, your marriage so depends on 16, this. 16,000 points. If... Leskis, your friendship, and Mike, the marriage depends on this. I apologize <sighs> for my wife, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> you have to say it like sorry. Sorry. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Hold on. Can let me. Oh. Can I... Well, I know. The judge I saw it. that. Yeah, see, <laughs> I was trying to get that him to do that, that right? He fell right into my trap. Jesus, I'm a man. fucking evil genius over here. <laughs> All right, so I'm casting Jake as Lex Luthor. <laughs> Or no, I, I'd rather do that. I'd fucking kill Superman all day. Best role ever. <laughs> oh, fucking eat this green rock, you little bitch. <laughs> as long as you beat Eisenberg, said interpretation. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> all right. <laughs> so John Stewart, Green Lantern. Yeah. The reason I picked John Stewart is because he's my favorite Green Lantern. That's good. That's good. I, looking uh, for diversity, my man. Go ahead. Well, no, John Stewart is a badass. He, he is. solos Hal Jordan. Omari Hardwick. Sell it. I loved that dude in, uh, fuck, what was that movie? The Gridiron Gang. That's the first movie I saw him in. He's in Power, right? Yes. Uh, yeah, he was in that. Um, just the, the level of, uh, I want to say tenacity. But that's not the right word. But he he could bring so he's much ghost. to that I mean, role. Patrick, dude, he's ghost. He's ghost. Yeah, he's he's an amazing actor. Uh, he's got the build for it, and I really think that nobody could bring John Stewart to life better than he could. Until Sterling K. Brown. I um, almost picked him. That's who build that was, is there. I'm surprised acting. we didn't get a. We didn't pick same actors. What do you mean? Like we did on X Men. Like we. Oh, there were no ties. Tabby, was, not yeah. not all black people look alike. <laughs> I didn't mean that. <laughs> this is the last character. <laughs> you put the black one last, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm going so, to bed. Good I'm, night, I'm guys. Gonna this, Ryan. Like, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going home. Is that um he's got the act for me, Green Lantern's almost like a lawyer character at times where he's gotta he's gotta be an impartial person to the Justice League and reason with them. And Sterling K. Brown, like I said, has the look, he has the appeal. Um, but his acting's gonna be over the top for it and amazing. And he's gonna be able to sell that. And I think he can have the serious points, he can have the fun points. But it's it's just a it's it's such a good role that I think you would want a high up actor that could play it well and not just somebody who just has the body, in my opinion. So that that's the other reason we went with him. I feel you on that. This is us, though. I mean, love that fucking show. <laughs> I love that fucking really? show. Really? Oh, yeah. Love that show. <laughs> I still, I still <laughs> so, haven't watched that show. You so yet. manipulative. Yeah. Um, I'm go I'm going uh, definitely. Uh, it, to me, uh, Ghost St. Patrick is not quite um, uh, Ragnar Lothbrook, but James Ghost St. Patrick is is a formidable character in my life and a very powerful, very f formative character. I that's that's a wonderful pick. 
I think if you if you'd have done like a Mahashala Lee or something, a little bit more than like Sterling K. Brown. I wanted to cast him, but he's already Blade in the MCU, so. Yeah, we had a, we had another. I didn't pick think too. about that. I didn't think about that, but yeah, you're right. You're he right. would Amari Hardwick was my second choice for that reason. Actually, Ali mm-hmm. was my first, but he's he's in the MCU as Blade now, so that, that eliminated him. But yeah, because so. who did who did we pick originally? B word. Uh, the guy who is um, he's in um, Black Adam as Hawkman. I forget oh, what his so, name is. So you picked someone that's already in the DCEU? We, no, that, so we were going to. We were going to pick Atlas oh, Hodge originally. Oh, that guy. That's okay. why we switched to Sterling K. Brown, because Atlas Hodge, I feel like, looks like Jon Stewart, like on, like drawn next to him. Oh, that's he really does. Fucking, yeah. yeah. But yeah. since he was already there, we had to we had to defer that pick. But yeah, no, that that that's the hard thing, too. It's like, you know, Marisha Ali, as he said, is a great fucking pick. But mm-hmm. how do you see him as so, anything else? Even though he was also, was he, wasn't he Cottonmouth? Yeah, he was in Daredevil also. Yeah. Did you pick? Uh, did you pick Happy Hour, Leskus? Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Omari Hardwick okay. is 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 definitely. Doesn't matter. Player. We still fucking lost. I be anyway. word. I just wanted to say that your Bleach Bros beat the asses of Happy Hour podcast in the Justice League fan casting episode six to three. Thanks, Ryan, for picking the correct podcast. <laughs> it's okay. That's getting edited out anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the one editing this week. Not while you're at work. (laughs) Bet. And you're not taking my laptop. (laughs) (laughs) I have access to this. (laughs) You're the one that chose most of them. No, I I don't care if we lost. I had a fucking good time. (laughs) I always had with hanging out with Bleach and Leskis. I'm always down for it. I don't care what happens. Yeah. (laughs) And I'm the one that brought up Rosie. I do just want to throw this out there that um, we're going to have to do some more fan castings if you guys want to beat us because we're ahead two to zero right now. Yeah, okay. but the last one, it was only by one. This one, it was by three. Mm-hmm. You so... know what's funny, though? The last one, Jake and I went back and forth a lot more than this one. Like huh? it, it was to the point we that Jake and I hard. were starting to battle over actors. And in this one, we're like, yeah, I don't really care. We're just going to throw this person out there. I said, who, who, which here. Superman do I want to see dead? Yeah, that's a good one. Good job, B word. <laughs> yep. Get the fuck out of here. Death of Superman, only, only good ever series. So I would love to see a live action Death of Superman movie. I'm just throwing. So it would out I. There. Oh, it'd be so glorious. Yeah. I would just, I would just, I would, just, I would it would be like weird, that porn that you can't stop pausing. I would just pause <laughs> well, no, that moment over no, and over. Again. For you, for if 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 you were going to make it a porno, all the actors and actresses have to just be ducks. Well, then I'm just gonna have porn stash come on and help fan cast. There you go. That's fine. <laughs> just, uh, They'd be on. I'm gonna I'm gonna choose this mallard to be. Okay, Superman. that's fine because I will sit here literally topless the whole time. And since a Canadian, since Doomsday is really tall, we'll go with a Canadian ge- can, uh, goose Canadian geese. To Canadian Doomsday. geese. Canadian well, I will I will say this. Hey. I will say this, Ryan. Thanks for uh, thanks for judging for us. I mean, it was. I, I've interacted yes. with you a few times on here, and it's been awesome. So ah, you, you, you were really it, good. You were a really good judge, uh, being non-biased and impartial and actually listening. And like, I, I, I loved your feedback too, though, in the yes. sense of like, you broke it down. Like, yeah, that's too old. And like asking questions instead of just being like, yeah, that looks good. Cause you have that fear when you fan cast that people just go for, mm-hmm. that's a look like Charlie Hunnam, for example, for green arrow, that's a look, that's who should be it. It's like, yeah, but they would probably fucking suck. And that's, yeah. I think what finally studios are trying to get away from. Yeah, uh, so hopefully DC can get it right in the future, but we'll see. Yeah, I doubt it. The reason the reason I didn't want to pick Charlie Hunnam is because I mainly I watched an interview about a year ago with him, and the person conducting the interview asked him about that, and he's like, "I don't even know who this Green Arrow guy is. Why would How? people? What? Like, yeah, who the fuck is this? Rude. I would, no, I would never play that role. It's, it doesn't seem like it's something I would do. It sounds dumb. So I'm like, all right, well, fuck you too, then." Because the Green Arrow is a Rude. fucking awesome character. I'm a huge Green Arrow fan. I like Robin Hood too. I will stand yeah. up for the guy. Like I, I do, I I still am a fan. Like I did. do think you need to see the gentleman and Triple Frontier. But like honestly, yeah. like even Idris Elba again was asked about James Bond today, and he's like, you know what? That's just not my career. Because yeah. some people try to the fans, people try to force characters on people, and they really just are over it. Like, mm-hmm. you know, 
for all the shit everybody keeps like all the fucking shit people try to put on Idris Elba to be the next Bond and that'll be revolutionary or oh this will be woke or whatever fuck all that shit he's over it he's a fucking amazing actor an amazing man and like people keep coming after him about it and it's just like it's, my career will still be a six it's not in my future man so I think maybe that's the other thing too. Maybe they were just coming at him too hard about it. Yeah. So uh, wrapping this up, thank you so much, guys, for joining us on this episode of Happy Hour Podcast. Yes. Um, Ryan, you want to plug your your shit? <laughs> <laughs> because we love you, and you can plug. Your oh shit. man. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate it. I will plug my shit properly. Plug um, it, baby. Plug it. <laughs> you know, hold on. Let me sit a little to the left. Okay, here we go. Uh, no, you can find me on. Uh, it's on always better media. to the left. Right. That's the way I plug it tight. Um, I'm making a note you can it. find me online at P A I G N P R O. It is Paint Productions, but it's spelled awkwardly. Come join. Be a Paintiac. You know, have a good time. Yeah, listen when you want, or you don't, man. Swipe right. It's all good. <laughs> Just subscribe. I love y'all. Oh, we love you. We we love you too so much. Thank you so much for being a part of this, being the judge. No, um, no sides taken, and you came in no bias. No, even though no, no, no. You know us. I'm here to and, pick. I'm uh, here to pick the best available. It's nothing personal. <laughs> I barely so, even know Jake. I barely we, know B word. I know you guys more, but you know, I, I got to pick the best. The, the you know what resonates. And we still love you after the choices that you chose. Yes, we still love you. <laughs> even though, oh, good, even though, good. even though you're the newest, you're the newest bleach bro now. Yeah. <laughs> no. We'll get the bleach pubes. Just bleach your pubes, yeah, bro. Just you're bleach in. your pubes, man. You'll be a part. <laughs> Wait, so I'm a bleach bro. You're bleaching your pubes right now? No, not right now. I didn't know when. I don't know how this happened. Like, was it bleach blonde? Did you bleach blonde your axe wound? You really did? In Good 13. for you. Did it look like technically... stripe on the gremlins like that? Just that. Did you keep like the lancer or did you add a full blown like carrot In... top bleach? <laughs> okay, so uh, bleach bros. Anyway. No, 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 no. no, no. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Mike, yeah, Mike, is in... Mike wants to be involved with you. This I just did a. Uh, uh, Zach Morris, like, time I'm... out real quick. <laughs> in, yeah, time let's, out. Let's break the fourth wall. Okay. <laughs> no, in 13 years mm -hmm. of marriage, I, I, and as many times as I've been down there, I never knew this. Do you, do you not remember the time that I said my boyfriend at the time, time went to the show <laughs> before Tiffany came over to oh, support me? Yeah. But he, she, Tiffany came over and supported me. That clearly there was so much bleach. But anyway, oh. so bleach bros. So you're the. Do you want to plug your shit? <laughs> so technically, um, I'm the I, I don't know if we should call you a bleach bro, bleach or a bleach yet. Yeah. Okay. Bleachette. There we go. There we go. Cool. Well, uh, we're the bleach bros. Uh, we got the name from bleaching our pubes and using some. Uh, <laughs> kool-aid to be able to put in some designs uh we can be followed on all socials at bleach bros pod you can kind of find uh, a litany of different things on our podcast we do any, everything from uh comedy to comic books to sports to movies to uh just general life stuff some mental health stuff put in there uh you can't nail us down um we do have uh, a, a nice little patreon available if you're interested in supporting that and uh yeah, just give us a follow, download our shit. If you like it, great. Give us a review. If you don't like it, like uh, like Ryan said, swipe right. I'll always swipe swipe left on Bleach Bros. I've been a fan <laughs> since. Well, that's where I'm at. Just you mean subscribe. swipe? This is where I'm at. Just subscribe, and if the right. episode that comes up, you don't like it, swipe it. We 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 get the hit from the download. Here's Either. here's a little here's a little secret from the indie podcast shit. Subscribe. We get the hit from the download. If you don't want to listen, it's not going to hurt my feelings, man. You know, <laughs> it, all my subjects might not appeal to you, but that's the productions of pay productions. So, hey, man, just subscribe and see what clicks. If not, you know, have a great day.
Either either listen or don't. I don't really don't care either way. Uh, that's <laughs> Ryan. That's not where I thought you were going. <laughs> that's not where I thought you were going when you said subscribe. I, I just get the clicks. I thought you were gonna say and and I hope you fall and choke on a bag of dicks. That's just like where my where my mind went there. So yeah, you. Interestingly, to my me. draft shows are called the bag of six. So you know, <laughs> man, it all kind of works out. <laughs> no, but. Thank you all for being on this episode of uh, Happy Hour Podcast, uh, Pain Productions, and Bleach Bros. We can't thank you enough. This was such a good time. Uh, it is like almost 1230, and I have to be up in six hours. <laughs> I'm going to go to bed. Thank you, guys. <clears throat> Thanks, guys. No, thank you, guys, well, thank uh, you guys man. so thank much. You. Uh, uh, we love you guys. To, can't wait to collab again soon. Absolutely, uh, anytime. And for us, uh, just check out our link tree. All our socials, all our listening platforms are there. YouTube channel, merch store, all this, that, and the other. You can also find the Unfortunate Horrors podcast, which is Lisa, Jen, and myself podcast, where we talk about uh, literally anything. Uh, we have a, a call-in line where you can call in and... Um, randomly talk or or submit <laughs> uh macaroni noises Jake. we're we're totally oh, is that like <laughs> wet mouth sounds no yeah not yeah. wet mouth sounds not oh wet yeah mouth sounds. oh on. yeah no no you can you can submit anything you want please do please do we will put it on the next episode please please uh you can <laughs> <laughs> fucking Jake right now is it's killing me. Sorry. <laughs> I'm reading the text. <laughs> I can't. Oh. <laughs> you can find us on Twitter at Unfortune Horrors. And uh, <laughs> <they're>... <laughs> it's just a good time. We get drunk or Fuck we get you, high. And... <laughs> <laughs> hey, you got to end on a bang, bro. No matter what you're banging. Right. You know, where's the horrors come in? <laughs> where, where are these whores? <laughs> where when do the whores come about? Who's I'm a, a floating head. What do yeah, you? It's like watching gay porn. You didn't realize it. Like when did a chick show up? They're not. Right, There's on. no whores, Ryan. <laughs> hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of watching real sex in 1999. Oh, like I'm like, when does sex actually happen? <laughs> it's just a bunch of people talking about like tantric. <laughs> Either shit or get off the pot. Oh, God. <laughs> but anyway, so unfortunate whores, you should uh, follow us and like us. Right now we have Instagram and Twitter. Um, we're kind of fun. Uh, kind of. Kind of. Eh, kind of. Uh, listen to our shit. It's kind of funny. Kind of funny. No, it's really funny because we're completely random. We go off the rails and uh, there's no instigation at this point. But uh, this is Siri. Thank you guys. Listen to their shit. Thank you, Siri. You're a beautiful person. Uh, <laughs> no, thank you, Ryan Pain Productions. Thank you, Bleach Bros with B Word and and Jake the Hater. Uh, even though I say I hate you guys so much, but I I love you guys so much. And I just think you're okay. <laughs> <laughs> I love you guys. <laughs> I think you should get like a um, <laughs> a little mermaid theme. Like I keep thinking of like your poor unfortunate soul. Under oh, the don't. sea. No, no. I'm I'm going to you remake poor unfortunate horse. Yeah, like, no. I I'm going to make a song. I will yes. sing it, and it's yes. gonna happen. It will happen, Ryan. It's it's yes. gonna happen. Ursula the sea witch is a fucking winner, dude. I love that bitch. Hey, I'll tabs. send you. Yes. Love her. Do you know what song the Little Mermaid sang when she picked up the her her lover, whatever his name was? She picked Eric? up his dick for the first time. Eric. Eric, Eric, Eric. what? Is that his dingle Un hopper? Under the P. <laughs> <laughs> God, that joke sucks. Oh, it's so bad. It was terrible. It was, it was, it was a joke. I want, I want you to make the song, and then I'm going to make viewer dress as Ursula and record the music video for you. Oh yeah, dude, that'd be <laughs> the, so uh, badass. He got, he stole the joke from Towel Walkie Walkie. That <laughs> She's fly, dude. <laughs> Towel Walkie Walkie. <laughs>
All right, guys, I'm fucking out on that. <laughs> okay. Kind of Eric was a foot fetishist. That's why he had her get rid of her fins, dude. And don't <laughs> let anybody tell you differently. She came out, she flicked those toes, and he's like, I'm over it. I'm, I'm he's the animated Let's version go. of Tarantino. Let's go. Yes, exactly. She, All she, right. yep. You're All not right, gonna guys. you're not gonna click us out, Happy Hour. You want to, but you're not going. To. Okay. No, we're Goodbye. gonna click it because Goodbye. I have to. Go I on. have to edit. I have to I edit. So I got shit to do. I got shit to do. What I have to doing? pee. I have to go to bed. I, I have, have to, to go to bed. But good night, guys. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you so much for being on this. Thank you. Uh, I, un- <laughs> unfortunately, no. Plage Bros kicked our ass. Thanks, Mike. You're welcome. But... Still had fun. Who cares? Oh, Thanks, it was Mike. so much fun. It was, it was so much fun. Uh, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. The fun right, well, we had was the journey along the way. I love yes. you. Good night. <laughs> All right, Good night, well, guys. That's going to that's gonna do it for this episode no, of Happy no. Hour. I'm Mike. I'm Tabby. We'll see you guys next time. Have a good night. Don't text and drive. Don't drink and drive. And always wear a condom. Bleach out. <laughs>